Hi, my name's Mika Fortune. We specialise in finishing yearling beef um, and we, we, we wholesale direct to the public. It just made sense, you know, coming out of a hoardy industry that sprouting seemed like the obvious thing to do to feed cattle. Um, we sell a minimum of quarters, so not hind or front quarters, but 25% of every cut in the animal, all 12 cuts. But basically, um, we have a website and you can customise how you want your quarter cut up. You can download a specification sheet off, off our site and um, there's about three or four options for every cut depending on how you want to cook your meat and what you would like to do with it. Fortune 8 meat um, is certainly full grown beef. It's uh, full bodied, uh, nice fat coverage on it and cuts up very soft. Ever since I met Mika for the first time and she gave me a sample of her beef, oh, there's no going back now really. It's the taste of the beef, uh, juiciness, the flavour, everything, you know, even, the, even the fat is delicious to eat. We've, we've, we've developed a brand where we have a red label brand which is a standard yearling. We only fatten yearlings, um, we don't fatten, which are two tooth cattle, they're only young cattle. Um, so our red label brand is, is um, a yearling, usually a marbling breed, so Angus, Murray Grey or Wagyu. Um, but the standard yearling is, is usually Murray Grey and it's fed for 100 days. Uh, free range in the paddock, a grain and sprout of barley ration. Um, our blue label um, beef is, is our Angus and that's 150 day grain fed in the paddock. And uh, our black label is the Wagyu yearling. Again, it's, it's grain fed for 200 days, which is a, it's a long time to feed an animal, but uh, the quality is, is supreme. It's, it's been uh, quite interesting. Um, I'm getting a lot of customers say to me that uh, even the less premium cuts of meat that they're getting in the whole quarters that they buy off me taste like more premium cuts. So that's a great wrap, um, just showing that the quality of all the cuts in the meat um, are fa obviously fairly high, uh, and I tend to get a lot of repeat business. Um, I've got customers that have you know, been coming back for a good two years now. Everyone says that how great it is and that goes from, from the rump all the way up to you know, the eye fillet, obviously. Um, one com uh, comment was that the, eye, the rump was, they thought it was eye fillet. That's how good it was. Because of the aging process and the process of the feeding of the beef, it um, certainly shows out in the steaks at the end, at the end result. Yeah, so normally, you know, we're, we're pretty stocked up with uh, meek of Fortune 8 beef. Uh, unfortunately, due to high demand, we ran out of, of her beef. I ordered a rump through a different butcher, um, and yeah, we had a complaint straight away, just saying that it was tough. The meat was tough. You know, he said it was nice, but, you know, from, from all the um, feedback we've had from Mika's beef, it, everyone's been blown away. There's so many variables in meat quality. Um, and we try to control as many of those variables as possible, right from the animal selection at the start, um, the marbling, the marbling breeds are, are, are the way to go, I believe, um, the age of the animal, so yearling, un under two years of age, um, still got their milk teeth. Also, the handling, obviously, the, the, the feeding and the daily feeding, you know, the animals are in a stress-free environment. They're handled every day, they're quiet. They're not stressed. They're, they're, they're grazing with the rest of the herd. They're getting, you know, they're getting sport really. They're getting fodder and food towed to them in the paddock. They don't have to go anywhere, so to speak. Um, and, you know, we, we then have the animals slaughtered 10 minutes away. So there's not a lot of time between them leaving here on a Sunday afternoon. They're, they're slaughtered first thing on a Monday morning, locally, 10 minutes up the road at Yamundi, at uh, Gray's Slaughter Yards. And, um, they hang for a good two weeks. So they'll hang at the abattoir for a week and then the butcher will receive them and she will hang it for another week. So hanging time has a lot to do with improving meat quality as well. Um, so they get good hanging time. And um, we use a fourth generation butcher who specializes in just doing cut ups for people. The business is growing and growing and I think people just want a product that's different um, and that is premium in quality. And, we're not a large scale beef fattening business, but we do a very good job at what we do. And um, the important thing to us is that people do come back and they do tell their friends. 
and um, we're getting a lot more of that.